हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एवरीथिंग मेथलॉजी एंड वेलकम टू डे थर्टी ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज हंड्रेड कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो आई होप यू एंजॉयड ए फाइव डे ब्रेक सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो इन डे थर्टी ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज हंड्रेड कॉन्सेप्ट्स आई आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रेसिपिटेशन हार्डनिंग ओके सो व्हाट इज प्रेसिपिटेशन हार्डनिंग सो बेसिकली there is a small story how this precipitation hardening has been evolved so you know there is uh, an aluminum copper alloy okay which usually people are uh, heat treated that means they heated and quenched to room temperature and because of weekend they left it in the room itself and uh, you know uh, locked the room and went on and they came back on monday and saw if uh, they did the hardness test then they saw that there is increase in the hardness they did nothing they just left this particular alloy okay over the weekend so they tried to study this that's how the concept of precipitation hardening has been evolved so basically let's take the same aluminum copper system okay so okay so usually it will look something like this correct so only small part i took it okay so here if you see so here if you see in this particular phase diagram what are you can incur so you, first thing you must remember is for precipitation hardening one important rule you must remember is that this particular line you are seeing right what is it that is my solvus line correct so this solvus has an important role when we are talking about precipitation hardening how so as we increase the temperature the solubility also must increase correct that's what is you know usually predicted by the solvus line so let's say i have some alloy over here at room temperature precipitation hardening usually has three steps okay the first step is solutionizing what is solutionizing solutionizing is nothing but heating to a single phase region okay so this is first step that means what you are doing from the room temperature of course at room temperature you have many phases okay here you are heating to a single phase region right this is a single phase region over here right which is a solid solution of copper in aluminum that is the first step second step is quenching so quenching usually means what again coming back correct so what happens on quenching so basically you see that when you heat the temperature at room temperature at this temperature this is the amount of solubility of copper in aluminum whereas you as you have heated over here the solubility is increased to this much right so what happens is because of quenching you don't see any change in the concentration of copper why because it needs some time usually all these are diffusion mechanisms so as you are quenching down it's all rapid it's just taking place in you know no time so it usually forms a super saturated solid solution so what is the super saturated solid solution basically at room temperature we know that only this much of copper can go into my aluminum but because i am heating till this temperature in the first step now i have got this 
to be the copper content so as i am cooling down as i am quenching it down it should go back to this particular level but because there is no time okay because there is no sufficient time given what is happening there is excess copper that is there okay in my microstructure so that is called as the super saturated solid solution so these are the two steps which our scientists before you know uh, during the world war 2 did and they left it okay they got fed up and they left after doing these two steps and they you know uh, went out and then the third step is called aging aging means with increase in the you know time as you are giving more and more time there will be evolution of pre precipitates that are formed okay so usually there will be zp zones formed which are converted to theta double dash which are converted to theta dash and finally my equilibrium precipitate theta cual2 is formed okay so as you can see this takes place with time okay and you also know that this guy theta dash has peak hardness okay so aging means what giving some time to the alloy after quenching it so that these precipitates are getting evolved okay so aging is basically giving some time so that you find these particular precipitates and you see that with aging the hardness increases okay of course it increases and decreases uh, i am not going to cover all the stuff here of course in our full course you can find all the mechanisms of uh, the processes right so here in aging there are two different types again number one is natural aging that means we are not doing anything you just put it in the room temperature but there is something called as artificial aging what is artificial aging artificial aging means you are accelerating the process by heating it okay so you just try to heat it to some temperature so that this process of formation or evolution of the precipitates will be faster okay so that is artificial aging so we give some temperature so if you see here artificial aging is giving some temperature soaking holding at the temperature and again heating it i mean cooling down to room temperature this is the third step so basically this is what is going on in precipitation hardening okay so as you can see these are the different precipitates that are you know eventually formed during aging gp zones are usually called as garner preston zones okay So this is it for this video I hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and definitely thanks for this uh, overwhelming support and please comment down your doubts so that we can make more and more videos based on that okay and if you want to become part of us and if you want to become you know one of the member under us please go visit our website everythingmetallurgy.com you know to see what we can offer you okay so many people are actually benefited using our video course and also one of the most affordable test series so please go and check it out and remember i already said in the last week that early bird discounts are ending so these are ending on october 10th okay so i am announcing this on october 10th all the early bird discounts are going to end so if you are thinking or waiting that okay we'll take it uh, in future please go and grab it Thank you guys thanks for watching